The seventh generation Mustang has arrived with the new 2024 S650. And Ford has done a great job of getting these cars out there to events. So if you're an enthusiast, you probably got to see one already. We've actually had one here in the studio and got to drive it. And I can tell you, it's a pretty great car. We expect that Mustang to bring in a lot of new buyers. You know, owners of Camaros and Challengers and Chargers don't have cars to choose from anymore and may choose the Mustang. I also expect though that a lot of current Mustang owners are gonna to wanna to upgrade to Ford's latest and greatest. But what does that mean? The inventory of used Mustangs should definitely be increasing. And if you're looking at a used Mustang, the one I would suggest considering is the 2015 through 2017 Mustang GT. All right, so why the 15 through 17? Why not the S197? Why not the 18 through 23 car? To me, the 15 through 17 is the best value currently in a modern Mustang. I'm gonna give you five reasons why I believe this, but again, I think right now, this is the car you should be looking at. The first reason is gonna be under the hood, and that is the engine. The Gen 2 Coyote might be the best Coyote Ford ever built. More power than the Gen 1, not as many problems as the Gen 3. I mean, these motors make 435 stock, and it's way easier to add a lot more power to them, and they're pretty bulletproof, up to like 700-800 horsepower. The Gen 2 took everything Ford learned with the Gen 1 and added some choice parts from the Boss 302 to make a great engine that's very popular with people who want to go really fast. Second reason to consider one of these cars is the chassis. The 2015 was the first car with that S550 chassis, and the new S650 basically uses the exact same chassis with only a few small tweaks, meaning it's a great chassis to work with. Whether you want a daily drive or drag car, autocross, road racer, whatever you want to build, the S550 chassis can handle it. It works wonderful with modifications. You have a built-in independent rear suspension. And again, it's a great chassis to build whatever you want to build. So next on my list is gonna be the interior. I own an S197 and an S550, and there is no comparison on the interior. First of all, it's a lot roomier than the previous model. Well, you've got softer leather, you have softer finishes, you have a lot more professional looking finishes to it. You've got solid switches inside. Overall, the interior is just really, really nice, and your 15 and up interior is basically going to be the same, so the first generation gets all the same benefits of later ones. And again, there's plenty of modifications you can make to it, but in factory trim, the interior is probably the best Mustang one ever made. Next on my list is gonna be the looks of this car. Now, when any new Mustang comes out, Mustang owners are split. The S550 was no different. I was lucky enough to actually see this car when it debuted in Dearborn. The second I saw it, it was love at first sight. I called my dealer and I said, listen, as soon as I can order one, I wanna have one. And 10 years later, almost, this car still looks great to me. The lines of the S550, especially lower to the right set of wheels, still look modern and still look great today. Next on my list is gonna be the overall value of a 15 through 17 S550 Mustang. Now, some of them are expensive, like the Shelby's and the Anniversary Edition and stuff like that, but the GT's and even the EcoBoost are still very, very affordable. Now, as far as the Mustang GT goes, I'm not gonna say they're cheap, because we can all agree the used car market right now is absolutely silly, but still, for around 30 grand for Mustang GT, you're getting 435 horsepower and a very solid engine. You're getting a six-speed manual or six-speed automatic. Available Brembo's, IRS, a great chassis. Honestly, in that price range, I don't think there's anything else performance-wise that even comes close. Now again, you also have a massive aftermarket that allow you to take this car and make it whatever you want. I'm sure a lot of people would love to have the new 2024 S650 Mustang, but if you don't want to spend that much money or you're afraid of that whole first car thing, the 15 through 17 GT is an excellent choice. You get the same chassis, very similar kind of body looks to it, an engine that's a little bit less horsepower, but also very capable. And best of all, you can buy one right now, and we have two warehouses full of parts to make it whatever you want it to be.